Hey, hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to After Buff Challenge Modes, and with but two remaining, uh, we are nearing the end of our campaign to conquer them all, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, ignore that, uh, ignore that, that's nothing, that's, that's totally nothing to do with the, with the patron game of the week that, that went up earlier, what, what, you're crazy? <laughs> Awkward time travel. So, we're gonna go with XXXXXXL because I want to, I want brains to be the final one, because again, people tell me like that, I've got a suspicion of what it might be, but we'll see. I gotta kill the heart. Alright then, I mean... Mmm, it's a little bit on the worrying side of things. I mean, if every floor is Excel, I mean, in theory, it shouldn't matter that much, right? Because uh, I was about to blow this up for the key and then realized I'm an idiot. Because in theory, it just means that the challenge of this is it might take ages and give you loads more opportunities to take damage and therefore you die. But I can't see why raising the floor amount, the amount of rooms per floor, is that difficult. Difficult, unless there's no item rooms. If there's no item rooms, then I get it, and this is brutal. But maybe I'm just underestimating it. Maybe I'm not preparing myself for the worst uh, that could uh, technically happen. And uh, ah, I don't know. I don't know. This actually seems, even for a XL floor, this seems like kind of a really extensive uh, basement really does. Unless it is like super XL floors that are XL even past what normally would be in an XL floor in the uh, base normal XLs in your normal runs. I don't know. I feel like I'm just talking about XLs too much, so we're gonna stop now. There's a big block square of rooms there. Look at that. Alrighty, to the big room then. I was hoping to not have to, but here we go. Don't be awful. Hey, that's actually fine. I'd much rather have a room full of zombies. Took me an embarrassingly long time to kill that stumper over there. Stumper! That's what they should be called. The headless zombies are now forever henceforth known as stumpers. And then occasionally some of them are bloody stumpers. Because that works on many levels and that excites me. Uh, we'll get that small rock. Uh, damn, I could really do with some damage ups. Just to annihilate through the rooms a little bit quicker more than anything. I think that makes uh, sense. Okay... Still nothing going on. All right, this is all right. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm convinced that they they are specially large XL uh, floors just for the sake of the challenge because there is no way your normal burning basement XL has this many rooms. It just doesn't. Even first floor XL floors are still reasonably quite small floors. Although the amount of spirit hearts I'm finding is definitely something I'm okay with here. That is great. That's going to give me a lot of uh, protection through the rest of the run. I can I can play stupidly and be okay and that's basically just how I need to win every run I get myself into still no boss room or item room I'm very much concerned after this much exploration that there aren't item rooms on this challenge and that is terrifying it really is if we have to rely on the devil deal I mean fortunately I've got all the spirit hearts in the world so getting to a devil deal shouldn't be too difficult for me, but at the same time, I'm not sure. I am really, really not sure. And there we go. Small rock, please. Nope, just more spirit hearts. I guess I didn't have enough, so that does make sense. And again, still fine. Fortunately, this is the burning basement, which I actually think is quite easy, at least compared to the cellar. If this was the cellar... Oh, the amount of spiders I would have to kill. I think I would have just thrown in the towel. I think I would have walked off. I think I would have been more than done. Just been like, nope, this challenge is never getting completed. That's it, guys. I'm, I am finished. I am over. That's that's it. Me and Afterbirth, done. I, no one man should have to handle... Oh, there is item rooms. Ooh, Samson's Ball and Chain. Nice. That is very useful. Okay, so if there is item rooms, that changes everything. Much like the Fire Nation attacking... So in theory, we should be fine then, as long as we don't get, you know, absolutely terrible items at all times. So am I heading the correct- LOOK AT THE SIZE OF THIS BLOODY FLOOR! HOLY HELL! JESUS! God damn! God damn! If this floor was in real life, it would be a national monument! It would be a seven wonder of the world. It would be the eighth, ninth, and tenth wonder by itself combined. Jesus! All right, that's that's fine. That is fine. 
Oh, man, this floor is bigger than the amount of times I take pointless damage. Oh, self-burn comparison. What is up? Okay, I want to get to that chest. So, Ball and Chain, if you could destroy that, that would be lovely. Thank you very much. And then, same over here, if you will. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe. I believe you can do it. You just have to believe in yourself, Ball and Chain. God, you were literally on the rock. There we go. And do the next one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. I mean, I, it probably, yeah, it's not even going to be worth it. But, you know, the point is we did it. So I guess because it's an XL floor, that would imply there's two item rooms, right? So in that sense, we should go look for it. And we now have enough money to make going in here fine. So it's kind of nice. A lot of batteries on this floor. I'm going to buy the jar, just so I have technically a spacebar item, and then start absorbing all of this goodness, just just because I'm concerned. You know, I never buy this item, and I'm like, you know, for once, for once, I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy this item, I'm going to stack up health, and it is somehow going to come in handy. I don't know when or where, but I am going to predict that this will, at some point, be an amazing asset to this run. Now, I am fully aware that that is very much what we call not likely at all, and I may completely regret buying it. But who knows? At least I have a jar of hearts. Yay! All right, we'll bomb that. See what we get. No cricket's head. That that sucks. I really, really want that at this point. Another tinted rock, though. So another shot at uh, the small rock. Come on, I don't want to waste my bombs yet. I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. Come on! Ah, oh, come on, get the swing. Get the swing. Over here, yep. Yeah. Nope, over here. Yeah, 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 there you go, there you go. No, it was so close! It was so close! Look at it! Oh, hey, that's kind of... Yes! And there's the small rock. Awesome. Totally worth the effort. Completely. I actually feel like I've reached maximum rightness that this floor can do. So in theory, the item room might be over to this side because I don't think it can be any further right. So I'm going to head down after this. I mean, I could be completely wrong on this fact. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of having buyer's remorse. You know when you see something and you're like, oh, I need that. And then you buy it straight away. And then afterwards you're like, oh God, why did I... Why did I do that? I have, I'm never going to play with this. That happens to me when I when I was younger. I used to buy, like, hundreds of little plastic bugs. And I used to pretend to have a war between soldiers and giant bugs. Get a little bit of Starship Troopers going. Because everybody likes a bit of Starship Troopers. And if you'd like to know more, you can ask me later. But I used to buy loads of them. But I only used to play them for, like, five minutes. It was much more thrilling to actually buy the... Uh, figures and uh, the bugs than it was to actually play with them. I used to stack up books to make like a fort, set everything up, but then when it came to actually play acting the battle, it would be over in minutes because, you know, battles are realistic. And I ain't no, I ain't no break in realism. In a way, even when I'm a little kid and I'm having an imaginary giant bug versus man in future space with book forts, we are not having unrealistic battles. I will not have it. So it didn't really last that long. So I used to much more enjoy the buying of them than the actually having of them, which I guess also also kind of applied to uh, the hang on a minute hang on a minute it's not technically an excel floor that's just clicked with me so thinking about it yeah so thinking about it perhaps what this implies is that we have to go through eight floors that are this size are you mental, game? Are you out of your mind? Are you off your figurative and literal rocker? Because wow, we are really expected to go. Please, no. Please tell me that that's just that is not what's going to happen here. Tell me, tell me, I'm imagining that. Please, please tell me that I am imagining that, or at least give me Cricket's head and make it all better. Nope. That's fine. I guess we'll summon these two and uh, then go for it. Maybe I could have used that judgment, actually, and uh, thereby got use out of my jar heart, but I still don't really, really mind. So, yeah, along with my uh, giant insects, I now regret buying this red heart jar, but it's okay. I will make do with it. I will make do with it. Oh, another one. Come on. Nope, still nothing there. And... Damn it! Not one golden chest item. I have opened so many golden chests. Not even funny, and not a single one. 
That is so sad. That is just so sad. I mean, I'm just incredibly pleased to actually have uh, ourselves a bit of damage up. I think that's the main deal. Look at this floor! This is the first floor! I swear to God, if I beat this boss, go down and it says burning basement, cellar, or basement 2... I'm going to be very upset. I feel like finding secret rooms is one of the most pointless things I could physically try and achieve in this challenge. So we're not even going to think about that because they could be in so many places it's unreal. I mean, we have got a load of money back up. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. We're still fine for the next shop. So yeah, away. Hey, an orbital. That's actually really good for the amount of health that we've got because we can be a little bit nice and aggressive with it. I was hoping my ball and chain would block the shots there, but unfortunately it didn't. Damn it, I'm just trying to use it as an orbital to do damage, but I guess that's a complete waste of time when we're talking about Samson's Ball and Chain, because it barely does any tangible actual damage here. Cube of Meat, thank you very much, and I guess we're gonna go on. Please, please don't be all six floors. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it is. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 That is just the worst. Holy hell. And it is a cellar. Oh, no. And after my cellar rant, I mean, I've got to commit. I've got to commit. I have to complete this challenge. If I die on this run, I will hate myself forever. If I force myself to have to have another go at this infernal challenge. this That's what this challenge is, isn't it? It's, it's just a psychological test. The actual run isn't all that difficult because you're just doing more of the same that you're used to. The test that's going on here is if you can actually stand to do it. Oh, man. All right. There you go. Have, have, my, have my life. Enjoy. Enjoy. Eat up. Eat up. What are you going to give me? A pill? Pill sounds great. Have more of it. Oh, you can't actually... Okay, that's interesting. So there you go. Have that one. You're going to give me something? You're going to give me give me something good? Two of clubs? I guess I'll, I'll double my bombs. Thanks. Have, have some more. Have some more. Give me some more lovely, lovely, lovely items. Give me an item, please. Hey, we got a free speed ball. That's at least something. See, the jar of hearts came in useful. Oh, and then that's a load of bombs. And then look up. So I guess that could have been worse. Damn you, Retrovision. You may leave now very, very quickly. No point spiking ourselves for those pills, irrelevant of what they are. And I suppose we'll get that just because, in theory, it's very useful. And then thank you very much to... Jar of health, you've very much helped me, but we are going to get our boom on. Mainly because I just freaking love this item, especially since we just got the double battery. So does that mean we're going to get two explosions of tears per... Yes, we are! That is a lovely, sweet little synergy there. We get basically a double Tammy's head out of every tier that's in the air once a room. That's really, really effective. That was a very nice shot. Okay, I am very happy with that. Look at that. That looks awesome. If we actually get up to some seriously powerful tiers, nice. The potential is through the roof. Okay, what do you have for us? Just some more coins. I guess I should blow up that just because we started to get low on keys. Granted, I don't think we're going to need them that much, but still. You never know. You never look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, I don't know why if somebody gave you a horse, you would go, hang on, hang on a second, open up its gob and, like, stick your head down its throat and being like, oh, no, look, it looks it looks fine. I, I accept. Very, very nice, very nice gift horse there. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, a rainbow poop that we can actually get some use out of. That happens all too rarely in my book, so there we go. I mean, maybe I should just start writing more about it happening if I am um, going to complain like that. Not the best room to use the boombox, but since we get it in every single room, there's no reason not to at least give it a press. Though I have definitely lost too much health for my liking here. So, I uh, actually, if I get that, that basically gives us spectral tears if I'm close. Oh, no, it doesn't. So, what the hell is the point of that worm? I don't actually know. Boom, boom, boom. Did that even hit one of them? Because I don't think it did. And that kind of sucks. It really, 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 really sucks. Ooh, 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 there we go. God, I need to find something, I don't know, like Polyphemus, and then have just titanic tears just explode around the entire room. Hell, even just a normal damage up. I mean, everyone we get is exponentially fantastic, because obviously this doesn't give the same damage bonus as Tammy's head does. It just generally enhances the amount of tears that you're firing. It's still kind of nice to have it, because you just don't even need to aim, and that's just the best, isn't it? That is just the best. 
honest. Can't go in that boss rush. This floor seems to be a little bit better than I was expecting because it's mostly st straight corridors, which is very, very nice. Could have been a lot, lot worse. And they actually got them all. Wonderful. Two red hearts. Could have put that in my jar. Definitely could have put that in my jar, but I think I'll accept it not being there for now. And unfortunately, not the correct way to be, but that's okay. Boo! Just, you know, I've got to make use of the battery. Let's not go crazy here. And you're going to come around this way. So I need to go the long way round, the long way round, the long way round. The ships, they went the long way round and drowned into the sea. <laughs> Keep on going. Oh, <laughs> it looks so good. We need tears. We need damage. We need everything. And then this is going to actually turn into a very satisfyingly fun run. Which is good because I was scared that I was going to quite actually die. Oh, yes. Holy hell, that is going to be amazing. Amazing! That is going to be amazing! Yes! The amount of homing, storming tears that we're going to have here. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. We actually genuinely have a lot of potential. I'm very excited by this. And then we found the boss. Isn't that nice? Isn't that just so, so nice? I'll wait for him to pop himself up without flying himself at me. And then we will explode. Look at that. And the latch key. It's not bad. We'll get through the keys and the spirit heart's okay. What do you got for us, devil? Yeah, I'm going to take that. I mean, I am. It just seems like a really good idea. The tier protection that we have going on here is ridiculous. We've actually managed to hit every special room and then move on. I I, I don't know how I managed to get through the cellar that much, but we did it. Um, oh, guys, a challenge for you. Get to the freaking boss rush on this on this challenge run. Go on, I, I dare you. Get to the boss rush on this challenge run. I cannot think of something more infuriatingly harder to achieve in this game. A part of me wishes they had put the boss rush symbol as your target in this one. Just because it would be hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Don't go straight at me. Ooh, that was close. But we made it and all is well with the world. Let's not get hit by the eternal flies, however. That would suck. There we go. Yeah, the homing mixers get so much extra effect out of that. It's it's not even funny. Look at it. Just a storm of awesome. And keeping on. We don't need the health. Unfortunately, I wish I had some use for all this spare health that we keep getting. But definitely, it could be a lot worse. So I'm going to be okay with that. And what do we got? More money? Good. At least with the amount of rooms, we are always going to get enough money to basically completely use every single shop on every floor. So we got that going for us, which is nice. More spirit hearts. And yeah, because we're having so many extra rooms, we are then going to have so many extra op opportunities to find things like Tinted Rock. So in some ways, it's a double-edged sword. We definitely do gain as well as lose from having to take the longest route for every single floor. Oh, this is actually an XL floor. Did we get lucky and genuinely get a normal XL floor so I don't have to do two lots of caves of awfulness? That sounds way too good to be true, but I, I guess it's what's happening, and that's amazing. There you go. It is very weird that I specifically got car battery and the uh, boombox here. It's just such a nice little synergy. And there's the boss already. Now, that is interesting. I'm going to go for the boss right now because I want to see if I have actually got a proper... I have got a proper XL floor. Amazing. It really does seem too good to be true, but I am going to accept it so hard all up in here. And toothpicks, really quite good. That really helps us out because the more tiers we can get in the air, obviously the more effective our boombox is. So that is great. We don't really need those keys. So they're not a big deal that we miss out on them. Away! Away. I'm surprised that didn't actually do any killing there. Kind of sucks. Can't get that tinted rock, which again kind of sucks, but also isn't really too necessary. Damn, he technically collided before it uh, exploded into its tears, so that sucks. Spider, stop running. You need to die. Thank you very much. And hematosis doesn't matter too much. Still nothing in the way of our... Magic Mushroom! Oh, that would have been perfect, wouldn't it? Still nothing in the way of 
item rooms, which is getting kind of upsetting at this point. And warm! Oh, it did actually clear the room! God, that looks amazing. It's so amazing. I feel like I've got very lucky on this. I've actually got very lucky on quite a few of the challenge runs, haven't I? I've gotten a really nice synergy to get it done. Should have just used the ball and chain again, but when I've got this many bombs, I just don't want to finick around with it. So we should, in theory, have two item rooms on this challenge then, right? Because this is a normal exercise floor. I would be such a ripoff if I had to still only get one. Where art thou? Where the hell art thou? This is ridiculous. I am... I have literally been everywhere. So I guess both of them are down here then? Oh, they were actually too far away from the tears to get affected by it. That's kind of interesting. I was going to stag that leg day, but his, I guess his muscled frame prevented me from doing so. So he had to die to, to normal tears. There we go. God, it's just, like, even with my base damage here, it is really annihilating every room. I cannot fathom how good the synergy is going to be when we find ourselves with some actual damage going on. Monstro's Tooth, we definitely don't need or care about, so we don't have to try our best to get ourselves a trap room going on. I would love to obviously find something like the uh, 9 volt so I can slowly trickle charge my boombox back in the middle of rooms and therefore have a even better way to just storm everything down but I think that is very much asking for the world when you've been given a country. I think you know at that point you need to accept that maybe you're asking for too much. I'm gonna keep this probably for the womb so that I can uh, then teleport and hopefully end up near the boss. I don't need to find item rooms, of course, on the womb, so that'll be good. Jesus, I am working for these item rooms. Let that be said upon every... Oh, 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 cancer! Yes! Oh, that is going to be so effective. Good, 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 good. Always lovely to see a bit of cancer show up. Fantastic. All right. Hey, item room! Finally! Finally! We did it! We did it. And the super bandage, definitely worth the trip. That is nice, giving us a load of lovely, lovely health and therefore protection. Yeah, we've actually explored damn near every freaking room, but I guess it's worth it. We need uh, all the power we can get. I mean, there's got to be a second one somewhere. There just has to be. I refuse to accept it. There's there's no way. I, I'm not going through all of this for nothing. I mean, look at this floor. Yay, I did it, team. I did it. We found it. We found it. We achieved greatness, and it's just a teleport, which actually is quite useful when it comes to this challenge, but I don't want to give up the awesomeness that is this synergy I've got going on, so screw that noise. I am going to keep that. The lovers, not really too terrifically useful there, so I will leave that, grab that, grab the bomb. I mean, just because I've got so much money, it's just worth it, and then we'll head on to our second boss fight. Hopefully grab ourselves a devil deal, and then move on to sweet, sweet victory. I mean, actually finding something like Brimstone, as good as it would be to have Homing Brimstone, and don't get me wrong, I I would upgrade to Homing Brimstone, it would obviously mean our boombox isn't nearly effective. Unless it could explode out a Brimstone beam into hundreds of Brimstone beams. I mean, I don't dare to believe that it does do that, because that would be unbelievable, but that would be just wow. That would be wow. There's nothing else to really say at that. It would be World of Warcraft. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. A health up, eh. And our items, no items. But a load of spirit hearts. All right, then. That is fine. Good, good, good. On we pop, guys. On we pop. We've done a whole four floors. And the sad thing is, is I actually think I'm moving through this rather quickly compared to your average attempt at this challenge, which upsets me. I I feel so bad for any of you that had to attempt this multiple times or had a really weak run at it or, you know, had any other kind of problems. I hope all of you have your endless, amazing luck appear when attempting this challenge. I really, really do because I would not wish this on my worst enemy. This is just unbelievable. So many rooms to slog through. I'm just so happy I have a way to actually make this really awesome. It, it makes such a huge difference. Stabby, stabby. There we go. I mean, I should, in theory, 
Boom, boom, boom. Yo, oh, that worked out very well, didn't it? Lovely. And then he threw himself into my knife. See, even he didn't want to be a enemy in this floor. I mean, yes, I should have traded one bomb for three bombs, but... Oh, I just want to, I want to find the way out. I just want to find the way out. I'm just going for it. At this point, I am just severely and utterly going for it. And there is nothing that you can do to stop me. Absolutely nothing. Get stabbed, get meted, get everything. It is just so on. What do you have for us? A golden chest? No, I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I would have to moon out of there and... I'm just not doing that. I'm just not into the moon in that way. I just don't feel the same way. We'll open you and Maggie's faith. I guess we will. Just a constant supply of health is not bad. My ball and chain doing its very best to activate as many threats for us as possible. So that's very, very nice of it, isn't it? And even more keys. Yes, the item room! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I don't mind if I do. Come on, we can get something good. We can get something good. We can get something good! Oh my god. It's, it, is it really just going to offer me a pile of... I mean, actually, poison bombs are fine, but it's not a mate. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Boombox. You were amazing. You were fantastic. You were incredible. But the ability... Actually, we're on the depths. And then we've only got the womb to go. And we revealed this flaw. You know what, Boombox? No, I'm not going to throw you away. I'm going to keep you. You and me together. That is how this goes. And actually, Infestation 2 is fantastic. So that was uh, definitely worth it. Secret room. Don't, don't care. I'm, I'm going to the boss now, everybody. If it's, if it's all the same to you, uh, I'm going to find myself... Uh, Killing the boss very, very soon. But yeah, big part of me wanted to keep the crystal ball. But honestly, I know the way to the boss. And then there's only one floor left. So, yeah. Well, actually, I guess technically two floors left. If you count depths two. Which I suppose you technically should. Because why wouldn't you count depths two? It's one of the floors that I have left. But no. Boombox has made this actually a really fantastically fun challenge. Because it looks incredible. And I'm not going to throw it away. I'm not going to do it. I owe Boombox that much. I really genuinely do. That was great. That was very good. Come on, give me that sweet, sweet cricket's head. I believe. Uh, I'm slowly losing my belief, but for now, I'm, I'm going to keep on with my belief. And boom. Look at that go. So I've got a ridiculous amount of tears, which is obviously meaning that I have a ridiculous amount in the air when it comes to firing off the boombox. Well, don't mind if I do. That is very good. And we'll grab the spirit heart because I am not taking any chances whatsoever in this. Just absolutely none. I, I don't think anything else in this game could inspire me to play better than this has done so far. <laughs> I really don't. Hey, how did they all survive the massive explosion of tears? That's interesting. Hello? Oh, cage. Cage, 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 cage. Good old cagey boy. Cage my man. Caging turn. The cage is all. Yeah, I'm going to kill you with my knife. That, that seems like an effective uh, way to go there. Even more health. Give me items. That's technically items. That is technically items. I think I'm going to deliberately waste my health on this, just because I'm going to get a lot of health ups. I've got one in the boss drop. I've got Maggie's Faith is going to be coming in, and I think it's just worth it to provide more room for Spirit Hearts. And actually getting that damage up, that's really, really good. That exponentially helps us. us. Helps us, us? That exponentially helps us, us. I don't know who Zuz us is, but he is helped hardcore by all of this. Okay. Alright, we can do this. Oh wait, no, obviously the womb is two separate floors. Maybe I should have kept the crystal ball, but... Uh, ah, no, I'm not going to regret. I refuse to regret. I absolutely refuse. Boom, 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 boom. Away we go. And then we knife, knife, knife. And then we knife. Stab. God, that is, that is just satisfying to just stab the hell out of everything. Out of absolutely everything. What do you got? I think I probably would take a floor skip at this point. Like, we've got to go deeper. Or if I just randomly found a way down to the next floor. Because I just think it would be very worth it. We do have quite a nice, sizable army of spiders, though. So that's good. I mean, mainly because we're killing everything before it has a chance to get hit by the spiders. We're just going to keep stacking them up constantly while we rampage our way through the floors. So we got that going for us. 
which is obviously really, really nice. Yes, sirree. And spiders, are you gonna? Yep, there you go. Well done. Proud of you. See, I wonder why the black ones need to die, but the red... <laughs> oh, God, that's terrible out of context. And the red ones are just kind of still tied to the room. Doesn't make much sense to me. I'm sure there is a reason for it, but still... I'm not sure that was worth even opening either, but again, it just doesn't matter. I am very fortuitous enough to have found a crap ton of health, and I am damn well going to use that to my severe advantage here. Come on, go hey! I should get the item room, shouldn't I? Let's not, let's not be too cocky. Let's not be too overconfident. Let's not let my, oh my god, the flaws are so big, ruin a chance to make myself even more powerful. I'm going to go for it. Because, I mean, this army of spiders is basically going to instantly, oh god. I'd forgotten that, <sighs> I'd forgotten that, um, that amnesia was even a thing that I, existed in this game. I think my I think my brain preemptively blanked out the possibility of having to deal with flaws this big and amnesia. And I have just I have just I have just put this upon myself as something that I now have to deal with. I think I might need a moment. I'm feeling a little bit faint here. I am genuinely genuinely very very concerned. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yes, black heart will do. I will definitely trade that for that room. Please just let me find my item room. That's all I want. Just let me find my item room. Please. No, you can go away. I, for some reason, very nearly... Actually, technically, a line of cursed tears and then exploding them would be spectacular. But I also ain't getting teleported out of any rooms. You can, you can all get lost, guys. You can really... It's just not happening. The pain would be too much. It would just be too, too much. Where is the item room? Oh, no. We're never going to be allowed it, are we? At no point. We're just... It's never going to happen. Going to stab him. There we go. See if we can get some more spirit hearts. 48 hour energy. Yay! Not really inherently useful here, but that's fine. That doesn't matter too much. We'll get our stabby stabby on a little bit. No, just health. I mean, I could do with a little bit more money just to buy up the final shop, wherever it may be. Not that I think I'll ever be allowed to know the location of said shop. I'm just going to be... I, you can just see it, can't you? And that was the last time we ever saw Rage before he spent eternity wandering around the depths too. They were the dankest of depths, and we never did see what happened to him. We presume he died somewhere, but some of the legends say to this day... He's still wandering around looking for the item room and that only when he finds it his quest will be over and he will be allowed to leave. But what he doesn't know is there's no item room on the dank depths too. It's so, so sad. I mean, the explosion's great for clearing normal rooms, but it does tend to struggle when we're dealing with... Uh, ooh, I believe the uh, curved horn with cancer is the best uh, dual trinket synergy you can get in the entire game. That is fantastic. The best damage up, along with the best tears up. So, at least we got that going for us, and definitely worth exploring the rest of the floor. But I am genuinely concerned that I'm not going to be able to find the item room. Because I have no idea where I've been or haven't been. Absolutely none. And that's obviously an issue. I mean, fortunately, well, I guess not really fortunately, but the shop had nothing going for us. Looks like this way is definitely my last hope, because uh, I've not explored any of it here. And still, still a chance. There is still a chance. Nope, that was there. Oh, God. Oh, God, and that was there. Oh, no, 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 no. So I guess down off here, maybe? That's where I started. That's the big-ass room. Guys, I genuinely don't think I'm going to be able to find the item room. <laughs> oh, no. This is not happening. I cannot believe I got an amnesia pill. That's so horrible. It's the worst thing that could physically happen to me. It actually is the worst possible thing that could happen. An amnesia on this challenge. Why? What universal entity have I pissed off so much? What universal being has decided that I need to be tortured for the rest of my life? Why have they decided this? What have I done to piss them off? See, I've already been all the way around here, and it just led me absolutely nowhere in any way, shape, or form. 
I mean, I'm going to keep heading left in the hope that the floor layout has somehow randomly changed just in some weird way. Nope, absolutely nothing there. It's just not happening, guys. Well, I mean, it's going to be the best item in the world, isn't it? There's going to be something absolutely, unbelievably incredible in this item room. And it's not going to happen. <laughs> this is so unfair. I feel, oh my god, I just don't, I just don't know. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try and head straight up, I suppose. So that was that that's attached to there. And then we'll go up here. That was where I got the curse offering. And we'll go straight up again. Straight up again. That's where we found the shop. So that's the shop over there. Which obviously had that in. Yep, that's where we got the curved horn. It, it does feel like I've been everywhere. I'll admit. Oh my god! Oh my god, enemies! Enemies! Yes! Thank you so much! Thank you so much, world, please! Aha! I found you! I found you! found you. Hey, rotten baby. You know, after all that, I am just incredibly happy that the item we got was at least worth the trip. So, you know what? Fine. That is absolutely fine. Can I successfully navigate back to the boss? That is the question. I, I feel like I can. I think it is down in this room. No, no, it's not, is it? That was... Ooh... So here and then right, nope, okay, maybe down and then right, potentially, there isn't a door there, so I would say based on the lack of a door there, that that's not correct, so I guess this way, yeah, this way, right, totally this way, it is to, nope, that's, a, that's an empty room as well, god damn it, I will never leave this floor, I will be forever trapped, no, it is here, because it's off the big room, it is definitely here, god, 100%, this, yes, thank god for that, <laughs> thank god, for that, that is just, that is it, because otherwise, otherwise we weren't leaving, we just, we just weren't leaving, oh man, we did it, we did it, we, we, we made it, we, we made it to, to the womb, I'm, I'm so proud of all of us for staying true to this journey, I really am, god imagine if you had to kill Blue Baby, I, I could seriously see that happening. Imagine it. Two of spades. Yay! Again, I'm going to save the moon for the next floor because I believe that it will teleport me next to the boss 100%. It's, it's going to happen. You just have to firmly, firmly believe in its ability to happen. And then as long as you believe hard enough, well, then nothing in the world can stop you. No, it can't. Absolutely nothing in the world can stop you. Am I regretting not taking the crystal ball, you ask? No, 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 that's fine. I, I would never regret such a thing, ever. At least we know now that it's not down south. We got that going. We got that going for us. Only three directions left. You can have that key. You can have that key. Enjoy yourself. Because ain't no one ever coming around here again. We'll get that tinted rock. And... God, we have got so many gold chests, yet somehow managed to not get a single gold chest item. That is exceptionally... Unlucky, it really, really is. God, the amount of tears that just went to him is brilliant. I think straight lines do make sense, at least to start with here. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I just, I, I just don't. Imagine combining this with speed as a challenge. Holy hell, you've got to beat It Lives in 16 minutes from starting. Oh my god, we found the ball! Oh, oh yes, I am just, I, I'm the best. You, you just can't, you can't touch this. Nah, 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 nah. That was a very easy blow, surprisingly. It was a very, very easy blow. Copy! Oh, well, I think dev size will be good. Oh my god, that is, okay, that has made this all so much more worth it. Holy hell, that is fantastic. Thank you very much, the devil. You've, you've saved me from this. Okay, moon, I believe. Well, we moved like three rooms from spawn. I don't know what I expected. Do I go left or do I go down? I am going to assume down. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I got so many bombs that I really don't care about pushing them together and getting maximum use out of this. The spirit heart is uh, useful. Well, I guess we got good stuff from all of this. Just not really anything that's going to get us uh, to the boss. Oh, I don't actually technically have the spacebar item. There we go. Who's next for the Scythe Wars? And again, every tier can now hit everyone because they're just going to keep passing through everything. So that is just wonderful. How did you survive that? 
Genuinely, how, how did you how did you manage that? That is quite impressive. I mean, fair enough. Oh, uh, I'm gonna wait for it because I'm probably gonna have to come back this way, aren't I? So there's just there's just no point trying to skip. Oh look, we got a free placenta, so they've got that going for us. I just love free placentas. I mean, I hang around hospitals all the time hoping for free placentas. You know, as you do. I really, I just don't care about this health. Oh, Joker, we'll do that. Go ahead, and we need to go deeper. Now we get we need to go deeper. Thanks, world. Absolutely brilliant. You know, thanks so much. All right, we'll keep the stars, because if this is the wrong way, then we can uh, hope for a random teleport sending us the right way. Yes! Guys, I did it. This challenge hath been conquered. All will fear me. All will fear me, and no true pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, done and done. My name has been Rage, and I like if you enjoyed this. Ah, that's where you get gold hats from. Awesome. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Oh, good boy. Yeah.